Hello, my name is Gareth Jenkins. I'm a geologist at the British Geological Survey and we're here at Aldborough in the East Riding of Yorkshire where we're going to look at the effects of coastal erosion. With forecasts of climate change and the forecast increase in temperature, we're likely to see bigger, more powerful storms and more of them. Another prediction is that we're likely to see rising sea levels and you combine these two factors together if you've got a higher sea level at the coast and the associated storminess and wave attack at the base of the cliff, we're likely to see an increase in coastal recession. One of the things that we could see with increased storminess is something which is known as storm surge. This is when low pressure over the area effectively raises the sea level and in areas such as East Anglia, the Somerset Levels, the Lincolnshire Fens, we could see an increase in coastal flooding. One of the effects of coastal erosion here at Alba is that of landsliding. And there's a really good example behind me. The graph shows where the cliff top used to be and you can see how that has moved down as the waves have attacked the base of the cliff. And the reason we get landsliding at Oldborough is because of the soft geology. So if we take a look at the geology here at Oldborough, at the base of the cliff we have the Skipsy Till member. This is then overlain by the, the Withensy Till member which is a softer uh, geology and this is how we get this stepped profile in the cliff with the, the harder Skipsy member forming this, forming this bench out into the, in, onto the beach. Both of these members together form the Holden S formation. Now these sediments were laid down probably between 18,000 and 13,000 years ago when a glacier covered the landscape and as this glacier moved across the landscape it scraped up all of the sediment, it eroded the landscape and created this cake mixture if you like of clay, silt, sand, gravel, cobble and boulders all mixed together, very poorly sorted. It's a very soft sediment and it's very susceptible to coastal erosion. So you can see how soft this material is. It's not taking much for me to hit that away from the cliff. And if we're going to have these forecasts of, of higher sea levels and increased storminess, you can imagine the waves constantly bashing into this cliff at high tide, maybe twice a day in a prolonged storm event. And with this soft sediment, that's going to cause a lot of coastal recession in this area. Recession rates along this part of the coastline are estimated to be around 1.5 metres per year. To measure this change, the British Geological Survey uses a laser scanner, better known as a terrestrial LIDAR. This is an example of data collected from a series of scans of the cliff at Oldbrook. Using several scans made at different times, we can create three-dimensional models and accurately calculate volume change and cliff top recession rates. We can also get far more information about how the cliff or landslide is changing than is possible from traditional levelling or photographic techniques. For more information on coastal recession and landslides, visit the BGS webpage.